Dear students, we are going to discuss the subject Strategic Human Resource Management of 5th SEM BBA of Bangalore North University. We are going to discuss the concept that is Global HRM in which we are going to discuss the differences between the global HRM and HRM and the types of employees. The recap of the previous class is we have discussed the meaning, objectives, dimensions and need of global HRM. Learning objectives of this chapter aims to provide an understanding of global HRM. The session outcome is that the students will be able to distinguish human resource management and global human resource management and explain the types of employees to be managed by the multinational corporations. Students, we are, we are going to discuss the differences between the global HRM and domestic HRM. That is global human resources and domestic human resource management. In global human resource management, the, the management of human resources is done at the international level. In the case of domestic human resource management, the management of the employees is done at the national level. Global human resource management is concerned with managing the employees belonging to number of nations. There is many nations. But in the case of domestic HRM, it is concerned with managing the employees belonging to only one nation. In case of global human resource management, it is concerned with managing additional activities such as expatriate management. But in the case of domestic human resource management, it is concerned with managing only the limited number of human resources and their activities at national level. In case of global human resource management, it is very complicated as it is affected heavily by the external factors such as cultural differences and institutional factors. But in the case of domestic HRM, it is very less complicated. It is because due to the influence from the external environment. Human resource managers working in an international environment face the problem of addressing human resources, issues of employees belonging to more than one nation. But in the case of domestic HRM, managers in the domestic environment administer human, human resources programs to employees belonging to a single nationality. Global human resource management requires greater involvement in the personal life of the employees. But in the case of domestic human resource management, the involvement of human resource manager or department with the employee's family is limited to providing family insurance programs or transport facilities in the case of domestic transfer. In case of global human resource management, it has to deal more with the external factors. Whereas in the case of domestic human resource management, we have to deal only with the internal factors. Now we are going to discuss the types of employees. The types of employees can be classified as host country nationals, parent country nationals and third country nationals. Parent country nationals 
means the parent country employees. Those are the employees whose nationality is same as that of the firm headquarters. For example, a German employee of a German company who is working at Chinese subsidiary. Host country national. These are the employees who have the same nationality as the local subsidiary. For example, a Chinese employee working at the Chinese subsidiary of a German company. And third country nationals. These are the employees whose nationality is different from that of either the headquarters or the subsidiary office. In the above scenario, this might mean an Indian employee working at the Chinese office of the German company. Students, these are the multiple choice questions. Question number one, what are the three categories of employees of an international firm? The answer is B, that is host country nationals, parent country nationals, and third country nationals. Question number two. Dash combines an openness to and an awareness of diversity across markets and cultures with the propensity and ability to synthesize across the diversity. The answer is A, that is the global mindset. Question three. What does TCN stands for? Answer is D, that is third country national. Question four. The non-citizen employees of a country in which they are working is classified as, answer is A, that is expatriates. Question five. Someone who lives and works in a foreign country is an, answer is, expatriate and these are the references.